with, um, suppose you like to learn the countries of Africa and you like to know how to correctly pronounce them. Then we'll click the word start and that takes us uh, to our uh, Africa drill. And let me scroll up a little bit here so you can see uh, the bottom. And uh, notice if you mouse over any of the countries, the countries uh, uh, light up. And if you were to click on a country, it, Botswana. you'll hear how the country is pronounced, and you'll visually see uh, the spelling of that, that country. Madagascar, Zambia. Okay. Now, suppose you begin this drill not knowing any of the countries of Africa. I wasn't much better than that when I, I started the drill. Uh, I didn't know the countries of Africa. After I created the drill, I used my own drill, and I, I learned these uh, these countries, and and now I know them all. And you, you'll be surprised how quickly you learn with with these flashcard-like drills. Um, if you're beginning, I would start with three countries that are uh, adjacent to each other, say uh, South Africa and um, Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe and Botswana. Botswana. And uh, click on any, any, any three countries that are close together, like these three. And, and Zimbabwe. Practice saying Botswana, these South Africa. So you'll point to this and say uh, Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. Point over here and think, ah, oh, that's uh, Botswana. Botswana. Uh, that's Africa. South Africa. And, and, and keep practicing those three until you've mastered them and you're getting all of them right. And then you add a fourth one. Add Mozambique. Mozambique. And then begin to draw yourself in a random order and maybe go to the new one more than, than any of the, the other ones. You know, go to uh, Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe, and then back to Mozambique, and then, and then go to Botswana, Mozambique, South Africa, Mozambique, and practice those four until you've mastered them. Then perhaps uh, add uh, Namibia, uh, uh, to Namibia. The, to the group, and practice on these. You know, go from Zimbabwe to Namibia, go from uh, Botswana to Namibia. And then add on uh, Madagascar, Madagascar, and Les Lesotho and Swaziland, and Angola and Zambia, and we just work your way up, adding one country at a time, and not adding a new country until you've mastered the the, the countries beneath it. After one day, you might have ten countries under your belt. The next day, you come back and you practice those. First, you begin by trying to say those ten countries. And you won't get them all. The next day, you'll, you might forget half of them. But you'll relearn them quick enough. You know, suppose you, you, you thought this was Tanzania. Oh, Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. All right. And, and there's several that you'll miss. And, and you'll, 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 but you'll learn them faster the second day than you'd taken to learn them the first day. And so maybe after five minutes, those first ten that you got the previous day, you're getting them all right again, and then you can begin to add additional countries and work your way up. Uh, Kenya, Somalia, and and uh, just keep Somalia. Keep progressing in that fashion until you know maybe after a week or you know ten days, you've got all the countries in Africa memorized, and uh, it's it's amazing how fast how fast you learn, and. Um, now, you might move on to, say, Europe and practice my Europe drills, but you need to understand that, that review is an essential part of the learning process. And, you know, maybe after a couple of weeks in Europe, you know, you, you come back to Africa and say, all right, I need to review these again. And yes, you'll, you'll miss some. Maybe, maybe some of the small ones, Eritrea or, or Djibouti, you might, uh, you might uh, miss some of those. And, and so you practice Africa again and you get that under your belt and, and then after a month you come back to Africa and you, you constantly come back and review and, and eventually you reach a certain point that, that when you come back you find you get them all right. You know them all. And, um, and that's how the geography drills work. All right. Let me, um, Go back to the home page. If you scroll down, you'll see that there's a button here to return to the, the home page. And uh, that's, uh, uh, that's what these uh, geography drills are like. Now, these hyperlinks to the right are links to PDF files. Let me uh, click on print map.
and here you'll see um, a PDF file. Uh, it's a two-page PDF. The first page has all the country names, okay, Botswana, Zimbabwe, Mozambique. It's showing stars where the capitals are. If you want to learn those names, that's, that's a different PDF file that will show those answers. And um, uh, page two of this PDF file will not have any of the country names. So you print, uh, print page one on one side of a sheet of paper, put the paper back in the printer and print the back side. And then you can practice when you're away from the computer or if you're, uh, you're, you're helping your children. They're, they go with you to the store. They could be in the back seat practicing these, looking at page two, trying to name countries and then flipping over to the front side to check their answers. You'll notice that my, my maps, by the way, I, I typed all these in, uh, um, are different from your typical map. Your typical map will have names of countries, names of cities, names of lakes, names of deserts, you know, uh, na names of rivers, and, and uh, uh, other uh, terrain type uh, uh, names. And there's so much on the map that it's, it's very difficult to discern which of these are country names. And, and my maps are, and of course I'm, I'm biased, I, I made these maps, <laughs> but they're very easy to read. And this map has only the country names. My other map has only the city uh, names, names of the, the capitals of, of all these, these countries. Um, and so you can print these. Uh, of course, I ask that uh, only subscribers print these maps. If you're, if you're just during your, your, your first month is a free month and you're, you're welcome to, to look at the PDF files. But, but until you uh, pay the $20 for the year, I ask that you not uh, uh, print any of the PDF files. Okay, uh, let's, let me go back to the uh, uh, home page again. And let's, let's, uh, let's quickly review, uh, summarize uh, ge geography. With geography, you always start with three adjacent countries or three adjacent cities. And then from there, you, once you've mastered those three, you add a fourth one, add one country at a time until you know all the countries, and periodically review. That's how you can properly use my geography uh, drills. Notice that when I say flashcard-like drills, they are like flashcards. You get the answer instantly when you want them. When you click your mouse, you, you see it. You don't have to type the answer in or have to write the answer down. Uh, that, that defeats the purpose. If you were using regular flashcards and, and, and someone said, well, you have to write your answer down or type it in, you'd say, forget it. All right. Likewise, with my site, you just think the answer or say it out loud and then click to see if you're right and instantly you, you know if you're right or wrong. So you get the answers instantly when you want them. You move as fast, as slow as you want. You are in control. Um, that's why... <laughs> Flashcards are so popular. Flashcards are popular because they work. And these online electronic flashcard-like drills, they work. If you use these, you will learn the countries of Africa. You will learn the states of the United States. You will learn the capitals. And, and, and my, my city drill, by the way, for the um, uh, United States doesn't include just the capitals. So if we take a, just a quick peek, I, I, I do, do want to move on. Uh, but uh, you'll find that it includes other cities. Instead of just knowing that Sacramento is the ca capital of California, you also know, uh, learn San Francisco and uh, Los Angeles and San Diego. These are all important cities that they should know. The ones that are red stars, these are the capitals, but it's important to know many of these other uh, large cities in our, our country. Uh, you'll notice in the city drills, instead of having to, to click on a little tiny dot, uh, I have mouse over events. So you just mouse over the event. There's no clicking involved with uh, this particular, with this, any of the city drills. You just mouse over uh, the city and you will see uh, the city name and, and the state. Okay, returning back to the home page.